With the 31st pick in the 2001 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Gilbert Arenas from the University of Arizona. Came out as a sophomore, 6'2 and a quarter, just about 200 pounds, all Pac-10, first team from Van Nuys, California. You'd like to see a young man who comes out early be a first-round draft pick, certainly. But let's keep in mind, Maurice Cheeks, Danny Ainge, Dennis Johnson, uh, Doc Rivers, all drafted in the second round. This young man's explosive. David Stern right now for the next selection. Here's David. The Pacers select Reggie Miller of UCLA. <laughs> well, right. we'll call that time. Woo, that caught me by surprise. All right. You've got a lot of talent on that ball club. Uh, how do you think you might fit in? What do you think you might be able to do for the Pacers? Well, right now, I'm just a young rookie, and um. Whatever the coaches want me to do, I'm going to do. If it's sit the first year, first couple of years, that's fine. But when my name is called, I'm going to be ready to come in there and help them out. I'll tell you, you what you want. you got to start want. from the bottom of the pole and work yourself up. The Utah Jazz select John Stockton of Gonzaga University. He was uh, considered one of the top guards when it was all said and done. Small guards coming out, ranked fifth behind Wood, Robertson, Humphreys, and Danny Young, who has not been picked yet. This young man is the perfect point guard. He's unselfish, hits the, the player in the right place at the right time. With the 15th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Steve Nash from the University of Santa Clara. Uh, this young man, they recruited him from Victoria, Canada. He plays on a Canadian national team. Uh, just an outstanding young man. Among the skills, not just dishing the ball off, the guy's a tremendous free throw shooter, nearly 90%. Well, he, he has excellent vision, Ernie. He sees the floor, he can make the play, and then he has three-point range. Your attention, please. Portland selects Clyde Drexler, University of Houston. From the University of Houston, another of the undergraduates, Drexler, who reached the NCAA Finals with uh, his team, by Slamma Jamma. If you just saw, you can't coach them. That's a God-given talent. And I'm telling you, Jack Ramsey is going with the right man. With the 17th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Jermaine O'Neal from Eau Claire High School in South Carolina. But certainly this is a pick for the future. Now you now have two high school kids drafted in the top 20, two young men. With the 10th pick in the 1998 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select Paul Pierce from the University of Kansas. Paul Pierce sitting in the green room back there a little longer than a lot of folks thought he would be. Shooting makes up for a multitude of sins, and you have to remember that, and this young man can do it. He can stick the ball in the basket. With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. A coming out party for the high school kid. He is an offensive whiz. He's very, very talented. He has all pro moves. And when when you you look at him, you're talking about a young man with range. He can go off the dribble. He can get his shot. And in every place that he worked out, nothing but rage. With the ninth pick in the 1998 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Dirk Nowitzki from Würzburg, Germany. He can stretch the D. He'll, the NBA 3 is going to be very easy for him because he's accustomed to shooting the International 3, and he will go to the NBA 3. He's got great athletic ability. The, the agent, one of the agents in Europe said this guy is a Porsche. He said that shrimp is a Volkswagen compared to him. With the third pick in the second round of the NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Rashard Lewis from Elite Elsick High School in Houston. Well, I'm, I'm really happy for this young man, okay, because uh, someone convinced him to go into the draft, and he's just had a very unpleasant experience, but now he's going to a team that's a winning team, 
that needs help. Someone convinced him to come out. He probably should not have. He is here. I'm happy for him. And it's good to see him get out of that green room because he's a nice young guy. One of the scouts' reports that I have in front of me said, remember this guy's name. He isn't quite Kevin Garnett, but he is pretty darn good. If he puts his name in, he will be interesting. With the 21st pick in the 1995 NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select Michael Finley from the University of Wisconsin. We expected Michael Finley to go in the first round. Nobody knew exactly where. Is, is, uh, is this an appropriate place? Do you think we'd see him earlier? Now, I see, I like this guy. Now, I know everyone's going to say that he had a very bad senior season percentage-wise in his shooting. A lot of people said it was because of shot selection. Some people said it was his third coach in his four-year college career. But I watched this guy for two years over, I mean, two weeks over in the Goodwill Games and I want to tell you, he can defend at the small forward position. He won the slam dunk in a runaway in a desert classic. He has a terrific hop to his game. He has three-point range. And can he finish on the break? Let's see what the uh, Bucks do here at number 43. With the 43rd pick in the 2000 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Michael Red from Ohio State University. That's a George Carl guy. Tell you what, he's really athletic. He can score. He's a fine outside shooter. I think he's a guy who's a bit, a bit undervalued. The Utah Jazz select Paul Malone of Louisiana Tech. There is Carl Malone, Louisiana Tech University. He is 6'9", 250. Once again, you go to a player like this and say, did he play the competition that was good enough to get a good view of him in terms of his NBA career? Some of the people said that they felt that perhaps you could have used the extra year to maybe prepare yourself a little bit better for pro ball. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, don't nobody know that, but the man has scared. You know, because he knows the key to everything. Uh, I'm a strong believer in uh, he, everything happened, happened for the better, you know, and I just want to say thanks to everybody who's done a check. Even though I'm not a boy, now, my heart would go out to everybody back home. I want to say thank you all for letting me be here today. Let's see who San Antonio is going to take you. With the 57th selection in the 1999 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Emmanuel Ginobili from Argentina. He plays for Reggio Calabri in Italy, 6'6", six, six, a two guard. He is a native of Argentina. And this kid understands coming off of a screen. He understands moving out the ball to get his shot. And he's very sound defensively. I'll tell you, I, I, I think that that's a good pick at that, at that point in the draft. With the 28th pick in the 2001 draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Tony Parker of Racing Club Paris, France. Well, the Boston coaches and staff, they thought this was the premier point guard in the draft. They loved him. They almost, if Forte was not available, they probably would have gone with Tony Parker. So this, this is uh, someone who's very, very highly valued in the league and can really shoot it, play the point position. Well, you're dealing with a quick guy here. So Tony Parker shakes the hand of Commissioner David Stern as the final first-round pick 